to learn how to properly connect a three-wire RTD to a temperature transmitter step-by-step. -step. I'll guide you through everything, from understanding the wiring to powering up the transmitter and connecting a heart communicator for configuration. This is a three-wire RTD, a resistance temperature detector. It measures temperature by changing resistance as the temperature varies. It has two red wires and one white wire. The two red wires are compensation leads, and the white wire is the measurement lead. Inside, there's a platinum element, commonly a PT-100, meaning it has 100 ohms of resistance at zero degrees Celsius. Now, let's talk about the transmitter that will convert this resistance into a useful signal. This is a temperature transmitter. Its job is to convert the RTD's resistance into a 4 to 20 milliampere signal, which is commonly used in industrial automation. We have terminals for the RTD labeled 1, 2, and 3. Power input terminals plus and minus for 24 volts. DC. Now let's connect the power supply. I'll power this transmitter using a 24 volt DC power supply, which has an embedded resistance needed for heart communication. The positive plus terminal of the power supply to the plus terminal of the transmitter. The negative minus terminal to the terminal of the transmitter. Now that power is connected, let's check the data sheet to ensure we wire the RTD correctly. Here's the correct wiring for a three wire RTD. According to the data sheet, the two red wires go to terminals one and two. These are the common wires. The white wire goes to terminal three. This is the measurement lead. Now, let's make these connections on the actual transmitter. I'll connect the first red wire to terminal one, the second red wire to terminal two. The white wire to terminal three terminals one and two are common, which helps the transmitter compensate for lead resistance and improves accuracy. Now. To configure the transmitter, I'll connect my heart communicator. The heart communicator needs to be connected across the plus and minus terminals of the transmitter. With the communicator connected, we can now access the transmitter settings and configure it as needed. And that's how you connect a three-wire RTD to a temperature transmitter. From here, you can configure the transmitter and set it up for your application. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and comment below. Have any questions? Drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. See you in the next one.